Twas down in Mississippi Not so long ago When a young boy from Chicago town Walked in a southern door About 2.30 that night, I heard loud talking in the, in the house, and when I opened my eyes, at the foot of my bed, I saw two white men. One had a forty-five and a flashlight. He ordered me to lay back down. He made Emmett get up and put his clothes on. First, he asked him a lot of questions. Were you the boy that did all the talking money? And Emmett said, yeah. And before they left the room, he asked my dad, he said, how old are you? My dad said, I'm 64. He said, if you tell anybody about this, you won't live to get 65. They tortured him and did some things too evil to repeat. There was screaming sounds inside the barn. There was laughing sounds out on the street. Then they rolled his body down a gulf amidst a blood red rain. And they threw him in the waters wide. To cease his screaming pain The reason that they killed him there And I'm sure it ain't no lie He was a black-skinned boy So he was born to die And then to stop the United States Of yelling for a trial Two brothers, they confessed that they had killed poor Emmett Till. But on the jury, there were men who helped the brothers commit this awful... So we began to resist. And that's really what some say it started to say. It didn't start the civil rights movement, but it brought more people in. More people were brought into the civil rights movement to try to get equal justice for all Americans. But if all us folks that thinks alike, if we give all we could give, we could make this great land of ours a greater place to live. 